me. You've got a handful of people that, for whatever reason, don't agree with what Miami Squareum is doing. That's fine. On any given day, you know, we've got 2,000 people coming into the park to enjoy what we do. According to APHIS, the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, the primary enclosure for a whale Lolita size must be a minimum of 48 feet wide in either direction with a straight line of travel across the middle. Lolita's tank is a mere 35 feet from the front wall to the slide out barrier. At its deepest point in the center, the tank is only 20 feet deep. Is this adequate living space for a 7,000 pound whale? Lolita's freedom fighters say, absolutely not. APHIS is, is one of the most useless agencies I've ever seen in my life. Uh, they're, they're lucky if they get to inspect this aquarium once a year. This is former animal trainer Russ Rector. Russ helped shut down one failing park in 1994 and has been on this aquarium's back ever since. These animals go into these facilities and literally are worked to death. They're worked till they're dead, and then they go get another one, and they work that one till it's dead. Back when Ocean World was going down, either a dolphin, a whale, or a seal or a sea lion died every month nonstop for three years, and nobody noticed. So rather than wait for the U.S. government to enforce the Animal Welfare Act, Russ began investigations of his own. The Miami Aquarium is really showing its age. It's, it's literally falling apart. Here's the backside of, the, of Lolita's Whale Stadium. This is a place that they don't want the public to see. This is back in the maintenance area. There you can see Lolita's tank there. There's a show going on in there at this time. There's a picture of some of the piping, some of the cracking in the concrete up there with the construction jacks holding them up. You can see there's a terrible leak there that keeps it wet, there's algae growing. Those are the temporary construction jacks they had uh, actually holding up the grandstand. It was in such a state of decay. You can see they have blocks of wood, they have sheets of plywood. There's so many of those construction jacks, it was almost like a forest under there. You had to weave your way through them. As you can see, they're just standing everywhere. And there's water standing everywhere, too. Just the, the, the mechanics running under here creates a noise level that can almost make you nauseous. It's so, it's so strong. To the right, you'll see that this is where the entire bank of electrical boxes are for the entire whale stadium, and there's a, a sign that says danger high voltage. You can see that crack in one of the main support beams runs the entire length of the beam. You can see, again, construction jacks everywhere supporting the load that's trying to fall. Those grandstands are allowed to collapse, and there's people in there. That will be truly a killer whale stadium. <laughs> <laughs> 